Everyone loves a good, crispy wonton, packed to the brim with a tasty filling and dunked in a special sauce. Wontons are the perfect snacks or appetizers for your family or to take to potlucks, parties, or barbecue. If you would love to see how I make my wontons and dipping sauce and learn my secret to keeping it crisp, come join me in my kitchen and let's start cooking! The first thing we'll do is to assemble our ingredients. It makes for an easier, less stressful cooking experience. After you've assembled the ingredients, you'll peel, devein, rinse, and drain the shrimp. Next, I'll rinse and chop the pimento peppers, the scallion, the ginger, and the hot pepper. The pimento peppers, also called seasoning peppers, are optional, but adds a lovely Caribbean flavor to these delicious snacks. Next, we'll add all the ingredients to the bowl of a food processor and pulse until fine. Once all the ingredients are finely chopped, you can add in the shrimp along with the other ingredients, the salt, the sugar, the black pepper, and the sesame oil. I pulsed the shrimp and then added in those ingredients, which resulted in a pasty uh, consistency. If you want your filling to have a little chunky consistency or texture, add all those ingredients along with the shrimp. You can also mix those ingredients in by hand if you forgot to add them in earlier like I did. If you don't have a food processor, feel free to chop by hand, using a knife of course. If you're having a party or if you want to save time, you could make the filling a day ahead and place it in a sealed container in the refrigerator. If you like to keep things hot and spicy, then the pepper sauce I posted recently is a must-have for the special dipping sauce that we're about to make next. For the dipping sauce, you'll need about a cup of ketchup and a jar large enough to hold it all. To avoid any of the drama you're about to witness, you'll need about a tablespoon of sugar and a tablespoon of pure sesame oil, along with a tablespoon or two of soy sauce, depending on how thick or rich your soy sauce is. Add less if you're using mushroom or a dark soy sauce. You may also add chopped scallions, minced bandana, or freshly grated garlic, or anything your heart desires to this sauce to make it your own. Mix and store in the refrigerator until ready to use. You could make this a couple of days ahead to save time as well. Now we'll get ready to wrap and fry the wontons. Because the oil takes a little while to get to the right temperature, we'll add a couple of cups of oil in a pot over medium heat. We'll also need to remove the wonton skins from the wrapper and place it in a tightly sealed container to prevent it from drying out and cracking. I used to keep it covered with a wet cloth, but that was not very effective. If you had your filling in the refrigerator, you'll need to bring it to room temperature to allow for even cooking. I like wrapping six to eight or even more at a time, but if you're new to all of this, start with one and increase once you become more comfortable and speedy with the process. I laid out all the wrappers on a dry counter. I placed about a teaspoon of filling into the center brushed water along the edges of the wrapper. You can use a brush or your fingers, but since I use my fingers, I dried my hands before proceeding. Next, I'll fold to form a triangle, press it firmly to seal, keeping the filling in the middle. Then I'll cross the edges of the base of the triangle, push down the center while pulling the edges up to the front to form a boat. I'll place on an oil tray and cover with a slightly moist paper towel while I repeat with the remainder. As you can see, the edges are already cracking, which means I need to move more quickly. It's very important to move quickly because the wonton skins will dry up very quickly. You can do these individually or together like this. Use fingers, spoon, whatever. Whatever works for you, whatever allows you to work more quickly. Now we'll wrap down, make a triangle, wet the top, wet the bottom, and fold. 
And that's one. Second. Fold into a triangle. With the top right and bottom left of the edges of the triangle. And place the left on top of the right. You're not aiming for perfection. Two. I'm sure there are other ways to fold it. You can get creative. And this is how I grew up making it. Three. Should take less than a minute. To do about six. Four. Five. If you overfill it, it will be very difficult to wrap and fry. Okay, see it's starting to dry out, so it's chipping on the edges. Means you gotta work quickly. And as you wrap them, keep them covered. And that's it. In the tray. Wipe your surface in between wrappings. Here's a close up view just in case you need a little more practice. This is also a great project to get the kids and family members or your guests or friends involved. If you're having a party, it's a great idea to wait until your guests start up to arrive. You have your filling ready and the wrappers ready and your guests will be happy to help you out. At least I hope so. This will guarantee that they have crisp wontons straight out of the hot oil. I have another tip to guarantee crisp wontons, so stick around a little longer. We're almost done. Keep in mind that family and friends who cook together stay together, or something like that. With help from my family, it took less than 10 minutes to wrap all these wontons. You probably could freeze these until you're ready to fry, but I'm not brave enough to try that. The oil should be hot and ready by the time you're done wrapping all the wontons. I'll do a little test to ensure that the oil is hot enough. I also wrap them all right before frying because it's the most efficient way to accomplish this since they fry in no time at all. Place the wrapped wontons in the hot oil. Do not overcrowd the pan or else it will result in chewy, oily wontons. Fry until golden brown, remove from the pan, drain on the side and place on a paper towel or parchment paper lined tray. As the oil would have been sufficiently hot, you would have had to reduce the heat to low. The first set would fry on a low heat, but as you repeat with the second set, you'd need to raise the heat a little to maybe medium, medium high. And always bring the oil back to temperature in between batches. Sometimes you may be tempted to remove them light golden brown like this. Trust me, once these cool, they'll be chewy and they won't be crisp after a, a little while, 30 or 40 minutes or even an hour. Be patient and allow it to cook a little longer. I'll promise you, you'll have the best results. Remove them to a tray and place in a single layer. Depending on how many wonton wrappers were in the package, you may have a little shrimp remaining. Just place it in the freezer for the next snacking emergency. And that's all there is to it, my sweet friends. Simple ingredients, simple techniques that resulted in an absolutely delicious snack or appetizer that will have your family and friends begging you for more time and time again. Until next time, stay safe, be well, cook, share and love. Bye-bye.